All right, are we good to go? Awesome. Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are joining us from. Uh, please say hello in the chat and uh, give us a shout and let us know where you're calling in from today. Uh, my name is Farron Jacobs. I am an activator here at Coralis, formerly CEO, and I'm very glad to be your host today. And uh, let's let's get through. Uh, let's let's get into it. So. Uh, First, I'm going to pass it to Arden, who is going to start us off with our land acknowledgement today. Morning, sorry, um, one moment. Having a bit of a slow, uh, Word document moment here. Thank you for your patience. Uh, good morning and uh, good afternoon for folks that are calling in uh, a bit further east of where I'm calling in from. I acknowledge that I'm joining our call today from the traditional, current, and future territory of the Wendat, the Anishinaabe, the Haudenosaunee, the, and the Mississauga of the New Credit First Nation, where I live as a settler. Recently, I had the opportunity to contribute to our uh, Community Values Protocols and Practices page, um, which is a hub where uh, Coralis, formerly CEO, uh, community members can go to see where our values align with the work that we do. And one of the practices that um, I was able to contribute to writing about was our land acknowledgements. And so I wanted to share just a little bit of what uh, what I wrote about on that page. Um, as a global community, we have the privilege of working, living, and visiting many Indigenous lands all over the world. Coralis, formerly CEO, ac actively works to co-create a world that is more just and equal for all. Acknowledging the lands on which we work is just one of the many actions that we must, um, must take to meaningfully participate in reconciliation with Indigenous peoples and to maintain our commitment to equity. In giving a land acknowledgement at the beginning of all events and significant meetings, we, re we recommit ourselves over again to reconciliation, acknowledging the history and wisdom of Indigenous peoples and communities, as well as the harm that colonization has done and continues to do to all people. I am grateful to live, work, and play in Toronto, dish with one spoon territory. I encourage you to share where you're calling in from today in the chat. And if you haven't had the chance um, to learn what Indigenous land you're calling in from, I'm just going to drop a link in the chat um, and you can play around a little bit um, with this beautiful map resource. Uh, back to you, Farron. Thank you, Arden. Um, and also, I'd like to add to that, Finn's dropped uh, the info about Otter, but just so you know, these are a few of our uh, accessibility protocols. Um, so there is live transcription, which you can turn on. And uh, we always invite folks to participate. How is best honoring yourself today? If that means turning off your camera, if that means opting out of certain things that uh, just, you know, participate, what feels good to you today? Um, for this call, why we do these calls, it's just to give you a little taste about the community that we're building and the 
amazing businesses that we've got brewing here. Um, and so we're going to uh, kick it off with uh, Danielle uh, talking a little bit about the new name change, which I'm sure you've seen. Um, we're going to hear from Canadian activator Nancy Shadlock about her experience. We're going to hear from Canadian venture Seema Singavi of Cooks Who Feed. And then we're going to do a couple breakout rooms where you will have a choose your own adventure style uh, day of um, interacting how you want to interact with a few of those topics. So um, I will pass it on to Danielle. Thank you, Farron, and welcome everybody to our global activation event today. My name is Danielle, my pronouns are she, her, and I'm joining you today from the Dish With One Spoon territory known as Toronto. And to ground us all in this change, we are in a liminal space of growth and transformation. Transformation is actually at the core of everything that we do here at Coralis, formerly CEO. And this change has been only less than a week in the making since we've announced our name change. But in fact, it has been a community co-creation initiative that I have been so fortunate to steward with such an amazing global community. And I'm excited to share with you the video that really tells you the story of our journey over the last couple of months. So I'll pass it over to Arden to play that video. We are evolving. We are evolving. We are evolving. We're 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 evolving. We are evolving. We're evolving. We're evolving. The biggest challenge is whether or not we commit to using our imagination. Are we able to think of new ways of doing things? There are many possible futures for humanity and the earth. We have to use new language if we want to create new behavior. We have learned this over and over again. Vicky's vision was of an ecosystem of women overturning conventional power structures. It started with something tangible, a proof of concept. We invited and supported ventures led by women and non-binary people in an entirely unorthodox way, and it worked. It also revealed we all had mindset barriers. We had a lot to learn, but more importantly, a lot to unlearn. Our ecosystem adapted. We developed programming to help us decolonize our mindsets, disarm reactive habits, and open up to radical generosity, not just toward others, but toward ourselves. We noticed the huge reciprocal benefit as members offered up support to ventures and found ways to unearth parts of themselves that had been buried or dormant. The more relationship threads that formed, the stronger our ecosystem grew. We've seen the harm done by cultures of dominance, winner take all, and us versus them. We've been shown the limits of binary thinking. We saw how much further we have to dig to disconnect from ingrained colonizer thinking and return to a state of wholeness and right relationship. And again, our ecosystem has adapted. We are transforming. 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 Our original name started to feel like a shell that was much too small. In our early form, it was what we needed to be defiant and in charge. But a woman CEO doesn't represent us in our current form. It can't hold everything we do and who we are. Being in relationship with each other is where the magic happens. It teaches us what to do next. It all kind of just like worked out naturally when we got into deeper relationship. Hello. Um, and so that's that's been really just a fascinating shift in what's happened to the model. We took the ethos of our venture process and applied it to a global effort to rename ourselves. We embarked on a community driven process to surface a new name with crowdsourced wisdom at the center. 
We're regenerating. 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 We are regenerating. We are regenerating. We engaged across multiple channels within our community, and a group of members raised their hands to join a six week iterative process to find a name. The first step was grounding the process in intentionality. What were the guiding concepts for the new name? What did it need to evoke? This is a portion, a small portion, of the community suggestions for concepts and names. As we gathered ideas, a theme became very clear, a feeling of flow. We saw confident, organic shapes and an iterative spirit. Hive mind was there, executive power, was not. Water showed up as a huge theme in the flow. So much of the imagery and language gathered by the community had water elements. As this theme was surfacing, Vicki sent some photos from her sabbatical. Shells, ocean, blue. We saw teal color, organic shapes, water. This crystallized into an ocean concept. The origin of life interconnected, regenerative, powerful, deep, beautiful, always in flow. We're growing. We are growing. We're 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 growing. We are growing. We allowed this theme to contextualize our thinking, but resisted going down any particular track. We looked at algae, Nautilus, seashells, manta rays, seaweed. We return to what we know about our community. And working backward from that, within the ocean context, coral revealed itself. Coral is a mega builder, stabilizer animal, living in community with thousands of others as a single modular unit with a decentralized structure and a hive mind. Even while rooted and stationary, coral reefs communicate with other distant reefs to coordinate efforts. It is a naturally resilient ecosystem with all its various parts collaborating to retain balance creation, diversity, and interdependence are its key characteristics. Coral can literally turn tides, minimizing ocean extremes like tsunamis by reducing wave energy by up to 95%, simply by existing. With a little support, it recovers well and repeatedly from what scientists call mortality events. Like rainforests, how coral is faring not only reflects how the larger world is faring, it influences it. Each act of encouragement to each portion of each reef matters and pays dividends. Coral comprises 1% of the planet, yet sustains 25% of ocean life. Collaboration and regeneration is in its nature. We're coral. We are coralists. We are coralists. Over the next weeks and months, you'll witness our community's evolution as we move into this next state of being. We, we are the chorus. Thank you for sharing that video, Arden, and I hope everybody had a chance to take some inspiration and understanding behind our name change. As we had mentioned there, the name CEO really served us for the last couple of years since our inception, and it was starting to become a shell that we had outgrown. One of the things that I came to the group of community members who 
joined this initiative of co-creating and ideating a new name um, was that you are enough. There is no need for any type of specific expertise here. A lot of people ask, if I'm not in business, is this a space for me? And I want everybody to feel the intentions of invitation, inclusivity, radical generosity, and the power of this collective to transform self and systems. I often talk about what is at the core of Coralis, formerly CEO, and the intention of overturning conventional power structures is always something that is within our mission. And we did that by pooling together our community's capital to fund impactful ventures working on what we call the world's to-do list or the UN Sustainable Development Goals. I often don't have words for how I can express exactly what this community means to me. I was actually just speaking to somebody who activated last week during our global activation event that we did in the South. And I asked them, what drew you to activating this time around? And they responded to me, it was just a gut feeling. It was my intuition that I needed to be here. And that being in relationship with people in community who feel like that they are enough and that they can transform self and systems is where I need to be. And so I invite you today to experience this global community here. We have breakout rooms for you to practice, ask and give in community, for you to meet and support other business owners or just people who are in community who want to transform self and systems in the world's to-do list. And so I offer you a breakout that I'll be hosting for Coralis, formerly CEO one-on-one, -on -one, 101, if you'd like to learn more about our model and how you can activate today. Um, I'll pass it back to Farron for our first speaker. Awesome, thank you, Danielle. Um, my favorite thing is that every time I, <clears throat> sorry, every time I end up on a global activation call, there's a, a new video that I haven't seen yet. And so <laughs> that I'm sitting here, like just brimming with excitement and, and just, I, I love the way that, uh, that this has shifted. It's, it's really awesome. Um, so thank you to everyone who worked on that process. I'm so excited to see this move forward. Um, and I'm going to pass it off to Nancy Shadlock, who is a Canadian activator and a friend, and uh, let her talk to us a little bit about her experience as an activator. Go for it, Nancy. Hi, everybody. I'm so happy to be here. They asked me to share a little bit about what barriers I felt before I signed up and what made me think I shouldn't sign up. Um, and as a coming out coach, I would say I didn't necessarily see myself as a CEO of a company. Like in some ways I, I would call myself that, but it felt like kind of a lie because it's just me and my company. Um, and I also had, had researched CEO and found that you had to be over, had made over a certain amount of money in your business. And I hadn't done that. And so there was a lot of things I was like, oh, this isn't for me. And then I decided to come to one of these calls and saw the community that was built from people coming together and and the especially the ask and the gives and seeing the ways that people shared with each other their resources and the way that the community was formed so beautifully and so I joined and that was a couple of years ago now and I've loved the ways especially that there's a, a queer collective that has joined and that has been such a huge way to to build a small community within this larger community. And they did a, a pride story slam last year where they invited us to share our coming out stories. And I love that. I love the ways that this community is growing in inclusivity and wants to support each other. And we've changed and that's even another way of even more inclusive. And so I'm I'm delighted about the ways that this community has come together. It's helped me grow in my business. Every time I have a call with someone from this community, I'm just like blown away by the generosity and the love and the encouragement that I hear um, from people and the ways that I can offer that to others too. And so I'm, I'm so in love with this community and I hope that if you're thinking about it, that you would come and join us and try it out for a little bit see what you think and I have a feeling that you'll probably fall in love too 
Thanks, Nancy. Um, and I just want to plug how awesome Nancy is in this community. Uh, we were talking about it before this call, that Nancy hosts a little shindig uh, bi-weekly, monthly uh, called the Block Party, where she helps you work through uh, things that are blocking you in your life. And it's magical and very cool to witness and participate in. And so um, Nancy is a fantastic piece of this community. Um, and I will now move us on to Seamus and Gavi of the, uh, one of our newer ventures um, for, I think it's a 2022 venture or 2021. I, I'm not sure which year we're going with, but uh, the current slew, current slew of ventures, um, Cooks Who Feed, uh, which is a social enterprise that ethically produced kitchen textiles with a give back model to provide meals and fight hunger. Uh, Seema. Thank you for having me. And it's 2022. <laughs> so I haven't been, uh, haven't been part of the community for too long, but I've already seen um, amazing things. So happy to be able to to, to share that with all of you. Uh, so I guess first off, just to give you a bit of insight into who I am and what I do. So my name is Seema and I'm the founder of Cooks Who Feed. Cooks Who Feed is very much a social enterprise. Our mission is to unite food lovers to end hunger. So we ethically produce kitchen textiles that have a give back model, uh, providing meals to alleviate hunger. Our flagship product um, products are our handcrafted aprons. And for every apron sold, we provide 100 meals to those suffering from food insecurity. We do that because we share our profits with our charity partners. Um, we have three charity partners around the globe that recover surplus food uh, to reduce food waste and provide hunger relief. So every time we sell one of our products, we share the profits with our charity partners so we can provide meals to those uh, less fortunate. Uh, in addition to, to providing meals, we also support uh, marginalized women, trying to give them get them out of poverty. So all of our textiles, are made in India. We currently have a team of 72 women that are employed full time. Um, we provide them with safe, fair trade work. And the goal obviously is, is to, to get them out of poverty and to break the cycle of poverty in their families. So all of our products have a little hand tag that explains the impact and it's signed by the lady who, who made your product. Um, in regards to being part of this wonderful community and what it means to me, there's so many things I could say, but there's two, two things that really stick out to me. The first one is actually just being seen. Um, I think as a founder, as a female founder, you're, you know, you're constantly questioning yourself and, you know, wondering if you're doing the right thing, if you're having impact and, you know, if you're on the right track and to know that there is a community, you know, that this community has chosen my business as a venture to know that, you know, you've been chosen, um, you know, to support, that this community has chosen to support my business really helps me validate the work that I do, um, you know, the, all the work that we do. And I think being seen is so important because it has really helped me also from a confidence perspective to know that I'm on the right track and to keep going and that other people believe in what, you know, the work that we're doing, what we're trying to accomplish. Um, I think the second thing that really stands out to me being part of this community is, it's extremely rare, I think, to be part of a community where everyone really wants to help you grow and see you succeed, you know, no strings attached. Um, I've never been part of anything like that. I've never had this experience before where people just genuinely want to help you if they can. And although I've only been a part of this community now for a few months, you know, in such a short amount of time, I've already had so many activators reach out to me you know, telling me, hey, we love what you're doing, but also we think we can help you. Um, you know, have you thought of this? Or here's a connection that I have, and we'd love to share that with you to see if there's an opportunity there. Um, so already, it's to me, and so I apologize, I've got birds here. Um, just having people who generally want to see you succeed is, is so unique. And that is the one thing that I love about, really love about this community. Um, if any of you listening, um, I was told to, to, to kind of give an ask today, share an ask today. So if any of you know, um, have any contacts in um, the home building space, or um, please let me know. One of the things that we do is we help create housewarming gifts with our products, as well as other Canadian um, 
social enterprises. We create gift boxes and we've been um, offering them to home builders because they all give housewarming gifts. Um, so we're looking at home builders who would love to give a gift that has impact and helps provide fair trade work and helps uh, fight hunger. Awesome. Thank you, Seema. Um, so if, if anyone has those connections, please drop it below or, or reach out to Seema on LinkedIn. Um, all of our links are in the chat, so you are welcome to reach out. Um, we're all warm and friendly. We love to, to talk about what we're doing here. So um, I see some folks have already sent me messages, so I'm really excited to get in touch. Uh, so one of the things that we really like doing here is breakout rooms and creating uh, connection with each other, building relations, as Vicki has said, as you've heard a little bit so far. Uh, so we have three choices for breakout rooms today. Uh, room one is the Coralist, formerly CEO 101 with Danielle, who you've heard from already and who will give you a little bit more um, information on, on the Coralist name change process and all, all that that entails and we'll answer any questions you have. Uh, room number two is with Venture, uh, venture Pro, Venture Guide, Venture uh, Wizard, Susie Pan, uh, who I, I guess Venture Coordinator is probably the correct word there, but yes, um, Susie will, will give a little bit of a chat on, um, on venture relationships and such. Yes, wizard, wizard works, cool. Um, and the third room will be with yours truly. Uh, and we'll do a little bit of an ask and give session, which uh, you may have heard of the concept of radical generosity. And that's the thing that's near and dear to my heart. Having just completed Give Week, which was super fun. Um, and so we'll do a little bit of resource sharing, ask for what you need, give what you can and uh, creative live, Real-time problem solving is a lot of fun. So uh, you'll be able to see the breakout rooms pop up when Tech Wizard Arden pops those over and uh, go ahead and pick which you'd like to be in and uh, enjoy. Thanks, Ryan. Um, so I'm opening the rooms now. You should see three options pop up on your screen. If you don't see the options, uh, go down to the bottom and hover and you should see a breakouts uh, button on the black bar at the bottom of your screen. Um, and if you're still having trouble, just come off mute and I can send you wherever you would like to go. All right, welcome back, welcome back. Do we have all the rooms back? Yes, cool, awesome. Hello, everyone. I hope you had a good time wherever you ended up. Um, if you want to pop those reflection words in the chat, I would love to see how you're feeling, how how your breakout experience went. Um, so if you want to give your, your three word reflections, feel free to pop those in. Um, do, 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 uh, and I am oh, ahead of schedule, excitement, um, connection, collaboration, fun, awesome, awesome, yes, I do like collaboration, um, thank you to everyone who joined me in the Ask Give room, I'm looking forward to seeing some of those connections be made, um, and we've got some housekeeping, so I will, pass it all on over to ooh, sisterhood X, ooh, passion potential pass. Oh, it's going too fast for me to follow. Um, yeah, so I'll pass it on to <laughs> Danielle, uh, who will do our closing bits. Thank you, Farron. And thank you, everyone. I hope you had a great time in the breakout meeting somebody that you can further connect with. And so I'm gonna tell you a little bit about our activation experience. And in our breakout room for Coralist 101, 
we talked a lot about experiencing a community of care, connection, and action. There are so many activities that you can participate in right away as soon as you activate as soon as you activate. So once you activate, you get an email welcoming you right in. We have different ways for you to experience wayfinding, finding your way around this community. We host a monthly welcome or wayfinding call for you to learn a little bit about what our community has to offer and how you can navigate across all of our different channels and events. We also invite you to book a one-on-one -on -one coffee chat with another activator in our circle and highlight different ways that they have gotten invested and energized by this community. Lastly, we also have our venture selection cycle that happens once a year. So in Canada, US and UK, this is going to be coming up in September, but there are a multitude of different community gatherings and events for you to participate in, both virtually and oftentimes locally in person, depending on where it is uh, other activators are in community. And so signing up to activate is super, super simple. We will share the link in the chat for you to activate today. And so we offer two different options for you to activate. You can select your region from this page here, and we have a $92 a month monthly option, or you can pay $1,100 for a year upfront. And this activation contribution goes directly to fund impactful ventures, as well as an investment in our programming and all of the different events that are included in your activation. And as we say, everything here is on your own terms. There's certainly a lot to get involved in. And as I was saying to the group, you know, we often have different seasons and cycles in our life, different busy periods in our business, our life, and our work. And so there's absolutely no guilt or shame for what you can and cannot participate in at any given time. This community is here for you whenever you need support. Please don't feel um, hesitant to ask. And so if you are looking for a community of other like-hearted individuals, I really highly recommend you to activate. And if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, thank you so much for attending this event. I hope that you learned a lot and felt really inspired by our community today. I'll pass it back to Arden for a final poll and our closing. Thanks, Danielle. Um, so I'm launching a Zoom poll. Um, you should see it pop up on your screen. If you can take a second um, to, to fill that in um, so we can follow up with you if you'd like us to. Um, and as you're filling this out, at the end of all of our global activation events, we love um, taking a screenshot, a photo of everyone that's here, um, just to capture some of the energy. Um, so I want you to think about how this call was and how your experience was. Um, and on the count of three, you can raise your hands um, and express how you're feeling right now. Um, so for folks that still have their cameras turned off, if you're comfortable, you can turn them back on. Um, and I'm gonna count down three, two, one. And then I'm gonna see, nope, no second screen today. Um, so just one beautiful photo. Uh, thanks everyone. And Farron, I'll pass it back to you. All right, that's, uh, that, uh, that's that. Uh, you can check out the uh, playback and the summary on, um, the LinkedIn for Coralis, formerly CEO. Um, please feel free to tag your friends and invite them uh, for our next global activation call. Because we'd love to meet them and hopefully welcome you all in. Um, yeah, please activate. Um, it's been a, a life-changing year and a half for me. Um, and I'm happy to speak to anyone who wants a little more information on that. Other than that, have yourselves a wonderful rest of your Monday. Um, hopefully it's sunny where you are. Hopefully you've got some some flowers to smell and some some birds to chirp and and all of that. So uh, have a great day, everyone.